So this video is still on representation theory. We are still doing some linear algebra uh, reviewing. Uh, in this video we are going to review some concepts and facts about complex inner product spaces. Okay, so um, here we will be um, in the complex plane, right? So let us say if we have a number like this, z equals a plus b high, right? This is the usual way to present the, the elements of the complex. Uh, this is one of the um, trivial facts about uh, complex analysis. We call Z bar the um, complex conjugate, right? So if this one is A plus BI, this one will be A minus BI, right? And I guess more or less everybody knows this. Z times the conjugate is A squared plus B squared. You can multiply those two and check that that is true. So we write it this way. Okay, now question. What is a inner product? Uh, an inner product of course on a vector space is a map. I'm going to write the map uh, this way. Some people Sometimes we put this dot C or sometimes we don't. We just write it this way. Okay, I'm going to write with this dot. It's this map that takes V times V to the complex. Okay? Very well. So, now if we pick elements in V and elements in the complex numbers. So we pick elements V, W, V1, V2, all in the vector space, and C1 and C2 and the complex numbers. So um, in an inner product, these are some of the uh, properties of the inner product. So the inner product of C1, V1 plus C2, V2 and W is C1, see this C1 here, C1, V1, W, plus C2, and inner product of V2 and W. Okay, uh, it's a bit like uh, here this one, this one, right, plus, okay, this one and this one, okay? That's one of the properties of the inner products. Second property, the inner product of W and V equals the inner product of V and W. You can check this, it's easy to, to check. Third property, the inner product of V and V is always greater or equal to zero and the inner product of V and V will be zero if and only if V is zero. So if we have a vector space and an inner product, so this is the inner product, okay, this duo, we call it a inner product space. This means a vector space equipped with an inner product. That will be a inner product space. So any for any vector v, for any vector v that will be in the vector space, the norm, we write it this way, okay, v, the norm of a vector v in a inner product space is defined by 
this way okay so the inner product space give us a a norm and with the norm we have a concept of distance inside the the space okay because when you have a space you still don't have a concept for distance okay so here we get a norm with the inner product okay and getting a inner product space